Welcome, welcome. We got a guest star today. Hi. Well, Nathan had a video on here recently. He sent it to me, so I kind of edited it. Nathan, do you do you do realize that a lot of people couldn't hear you in the video? I did not know that. They found the kids annoying. They found the other kid, the kids like who scream and yelling, annoying. But I thought, it, but I I, I did I think I really did a pretty good job editing it. But how was that forty nugget challenge? I was supposed to give up at like the third box. Kind of like when I did the. Um, the Baconator. And, like, <laughs> I ate a nine patty Baconator burger before. That was the T Rex burger that's on my uh, older, older videos, like probably four years ago, five years ago. Let's go check that out. I almost passed out. They did not give me enough ranch for it either. How much did ranch did they give you? Only eight things, and that's including for the fries. Yeah. If we run out of ranch. Well, anyway, so me and Nathan have a story to tell you. A long time ago, um, maybe like three years or three, four, five years ago, you're a, little, you're a younger. We were at Kings Island and we were riding coasters, and none other, none other than Diamondback. And we are like waiting in line, and I noticed, look at Nathan. Nathan's wearing flip flops. Yeah, I didn't have any other shoes. <laughs> he was wearing flip flops. <clears throat> and I said to Nathan, We're going on Diamondback. It's gonna be it's a it's a coaster. It's really tall. It's my favorite coaster of all time. And I was like, You sure your feet you're gonna be safe on it? He's like, Yeah, I can hold on to him. That's pretty much what you said. Like I'm we can tighten them within your feet. Yeah. Well we get on Diamondback. And we're sitting next to each other. I think it was in the front row, like, towards the front, right? Yeah, it was. I usually like the front. I usually like the front of the coaster. That's usually what we usually do, right? Um. So right, we're uh, in the front of the coaster. We go down the hill, and after we, the the hill go after we go down the hill, I feel something fly by me, and I was like, "Was that somebody's shoe?" And then Nathan, I was like, Nathan, what was that? I was like, I think it's like, I was like, somebody's shoe fell off. Like, what idiots? And then Nathan's in the crack, and I was like, funny, Nathan. He was like, that was my shoe. And I was like, shit. I was, I was talking on the ride, and I was like, you know, <coughs> it was like, it's kind of hard to talk, but we're talking. I was like, we can have the truck, we're going to have to buy you <coughs> some new shoes <clears throat> somewhere in the park. You can't go on any other coasters unless you're wearing shoes. Yeah. So, all of us, like, the, after the whole the diamond back, we get back to the stage, and this woman's laughing. And we look, we look, and she's holding Nathan's shoe. His flip flop. What had happened was, it flew off Nathan's foot, and somehow this lady caught it. And that's not even the funny part. Now, what's the funny part, Nathan? When she caught it, the camera took a picture of her catching it. Yeah, so wait when, right when uh, Nathan's shoe flew off, was when uh, she caught it. You can actually see, you can you see it like flying off your, I mean, yeah, you, you can see, see it, it flying off my foot and yeah. then her catching it. Yes. And to this day, but I always tell you what I regret. I regret. Not getting those pictures. Not getting those pictures. I thought that would have been funny. So I can tell a story to people, but ironically, I mean, you're gonna have to believe it. So I mean, we got no proof, but it flew off his, it flew off his foot, and then this random lady caught it, and then she gave it back to him, obviously. And it was a pretty good night. I was just like, that was like, that was good that she caught it. I don't have to go buy you no shoes. Didn't I end up buying you something anyway, like a hat or something? Yeah, it was like a hat, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Kings Island in September. Um, I don't think Nathan's going on that trip, I don't think. <laughs> but no. Nathan has a wife and kids at home. Yeah. What do you guys think about the story? Let me know down in the comments down below. You guys want to see more Nathan? I know you guys asked me where it was at, so that's why we threw in that video. Because he's here. He's here and there, but I don't live with Nathan anymore. I pretty much got my own place. You see more of Jack when the girl right there with my beautiful fiance. Mm. But yeah, what do you guys think? Um, let me know down in the comments down below if you want to hear more stories. You want to see more of Nathan? You want to see more of Tim? Because I still have 
I still have that contest at the end of the year. Now you're getting close to beating uh, Tim, our favorite character. I know those two are in the running. That's a given. Third would be Austin, but I still need one more person. I'm debating. What... I'd say it'd be Jacqueline. Jacqueline or Matt? Because Jacqueline's going to be in most of the videos for the rest of this year. Right. Didn't you start off a lot of them this year, though? I started off with a lot and then it died down. Right. Because I got busy <laughs> with everything else. And I got busy, too. But yeah, tell me what you guys want to see. If you guys want to hear more Kings Island stories, uh, Cedar Point series, or whatever. I, got, I have a lot of stories. So. But comment down below what you think. And I'll see you next time. So bye, Nathan. Bye.